let's get started with running Tomcat uh, inside a Docker container. Uh, I'm going to write, uh, I'm going to check uh, what processes of Docker are running uh, in the machine and looks like there is nothing running. And we're also going to check what images uh, we have in our Docker. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have um, Tomcat version 10 as an image, which has an image ID this. Uh, it's created two days ago, and here is the size. And if you look more uh, into details, which is we have Redis, uh, Postgres, uh, Python, MySQL, and Elk. Uh, registry and things like that so these are the images um, already sitting in my docker uh, images so let's go ahead and start running docker tomcat inside uh, the container uh, I'm going to say hey run this uh, docker uh, with slash i which is uh, as a interactivity and give the tag rm uh, let's specify port with option hyphen P. Run it on 8888 uh, on my host colon 8080 inside the container, which means we're mapping the, the host port to the container port. Uh, anything left hand side of the colon means um, the port on the host on which the Docker is running, and anything on the right hand side of the colon represents. Uh, port inside the container uh, I'm going to say hey pick up the tomcat image pick the tag 8.0 and pull this image so once I'm going to say and you, 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 you as you can see it has started uh, pulling the image from docker registry which in our case is docker hub uh, it will go and look for tomcat look for 8.0 image and start pulling that image uh, uh, for us. Uh, if you if you would have noticed in the Docker images, we never had a Docker Tomcat 8.0. And now, uh, if you list Docker 8. Point, uh, Docker images, it will tell you um, we have uh, Tomcat 8 as an image. And now we're running this. We're, after this, we're going to check what processes are running as well as what images we have uh, once this piece is done we're going to also check um, how uh, on localhost this tomcat is running as now you can see on the screen uh, it has started picking up catalina base uh, catalina home and gre home and class pass all those pieces are set and now if you look at this piece here it is saying uh, it has started uh, the server starts server is starting up in um, so and so milliseconds which is a typical uh, tomcat running um, uh, on any of your servers any of your uh, vms on ec2s or any, any cloud infrastructure out there uh, we're going to say hey uh, we know this piece is here running so so what we're going to say is we're going to say what uh, is happening on our images and what is happening on our processes so we need to check those pieces so let me go ahead and open a new terminal already so come back let me expand this for you guys so if you say if, if you look at this clearly you will you will understand hey there is a container spinning which is running tomcat 8 this is a command inside that container which is running it started about a minute ago which we clearly know and on the local host 
it's running on 8080, 8888, uh, and 8080 is the TCP port inside the container. And Docker has this, um, it generates this random uh, name for your container, uh, which you can see as vibrant, vibrant underscore Einstein. Mm, so let's go ahead and see what's happening with our images. So if you notice, uh, Tomcat 8.0 is now present in our images. So let's go ahead uh, and on the browser and see what's happening. And there it is. Uh, we clearly know uh, we have a Tomcat uh, running on in our uh, in a local host. So if I have to if I have to run the Tomcat for the same image on say I'm going to run the same Tomcat image on another port and look at this this will run every time so if you go ahead and check what's happening on 8889 you'll see there's another Tomcat running on 8080 so 8889 uh, sorry so with the help of docker we are able to we're able to spin two tomcats at the same time because they are running two um, isolated processes so if you start looking into what's happening uh, what's happening What's happening as you can see this 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 is tomcat running here there is another tomcat running here so if we, if we spend some more time understanding what's happening behind the scenes we'll understand uh, there are two tomcat processes uh, which are running at 8888 and second one is running at 8889 so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to Some of my um, terminal is acting weird today. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, kill this uh, process. And if you look at this, now we have 8888 running here and we have a Docker image also. So now we know we have a you know, running container and we have everything set in our tomcat so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to say hey we ran this on local host uh, on 8888 i know this image is working uh, what i want to do is uh, once i look at this container id right here i'm going to copy this container id i'm going to say hey i want to go in, uh, i'm going to commit this container and I'm going to give it name as uh, some call which which act as a namespace and I'm going to give it a name uh, a repository name which is Tomcat and I'm going to say hey this is my version say 20 right um, so if, if you look at this piece so it means we're trying to commit in container where we're telling can docker to hey post hey commit this container with the name uh, with the namespace name summit call and repository name tomcat and we're going to say hey version is 20 is basically a tag uh, for that for that uh, image so now you have noticed that there is a unique hash which gets generated after every commit and we're going to say now the, the ne next part piece comes hey push this image to namespace repository in 20 and now if you look at this so it says the push refers to the repository uh, as this which is docker.io slash summit call slash tomcat and mounted to this and 
the benefit of this is docker uses caching which means it already has if, if there is some layer existing existing layer it will utilize that and try to save on your network resources so now you can see after the successful push it has created a single hash for you a unique hash for you and let's go ahead and check what what is happening with our images so if you look at this piece uh, so we have a couple of repositories we have uh, so this is a namespace which I was referring to in my rocket push so myth call is a namespace which we have um, and you can definitely create more uh, you know, as your organization uh, comes along uh, to figuring out the namespaces and repositories and now we know uh, we have a repository called tomcat so it's called slash tomcat and if you look at this the tags so there is a version 20 which was just pushed a minute ago and it has a size of 140 so the idea here is this image is immutable image which cannot be changed but only the next change of that image can be published with a different version or different tag if there is any incremental change so if you look at Docker images we now have we have created another image from that image from the running image with the name tomcat and version 20 and this is the size so let's let's do some fun piece here and if you say and so we have this container running we're going to stop the container here so if you have noticed on your left hand side we have killed the process which means tomcat here has stopped running on 8080 and clearly uh, it's not running anymore and the the good piece about is uh, what if we start uh, deleting the same image so we have this we're going to say hey remove image version 20 and as you can see it has started deleting version 20 and also delete version 8.0 okay that clearly does not exist so which means uh, delete the docker image which is tomcat 8.0 which is right here so so that is also deleted so if you list at docker now we clearly know the version 20 does not exist anywhere in the list and version 8 also does not exist anywhere in the list we have some of the versions of the tomcat but they are not the version 20 so we're going to come here and we're going to say to this repository hey pull this image which image which version will know will specify that piece so if I'm going to say hey pull this image docker is going to complain hey can you give me either a latest image or specify the version so as you can see from the error here which says hey using default tag latest no latest was not found so what we're going to give is but we are going to give it to you hey go to this repository pull the latest image if not latest image specified version is version 20 pull this image into my into my machine if not so this is one way of pulling an image to your local repository uh, you can also specify uh, running the tomcat from the the image which we have pulled so once the the image uh, starts coming to your local repository uh, what we can do is we can start running tomcat from that particular version and we'll see uh, it will run exactly the same 
from the same image the idea of images is those images are immutable uh, the only thing which we uh, can do with those those are uh, we'll start publishing our uh, changes uh, whatever the delta we will push it whatever the delta we have we will push that image and that image uh, once we know that you know everything is working in that image we'll have the delta we'll start pushing that image to the docker hub and then every time someone comes and pull that image from docker hub or the docker registry it can be docker it can be docker um, registry it can be um, amazon's ecr um, or google's container registry and we'll start pulling the image uh, from that and that image will work every time so let's go ahead and say hey run this image we know we just got this image we, ju we just recently got we recently pulled this image into our registry and i'm going to say hey no, don't run this on ad and i want to run it on 90 now right so run it run the container off of this image on the port 8890 inside the container 8080 and the version is version 20 which we just pushed as you can see it started listening on connections for the particular code port and now we know which port do we need to go to 9090 80 sorry um, 8890 and here we are it's running on 8890 every time so so let me kill this process we don't want that I just wanted to show you guys uh, if you look at this so we have a process running off of our image which is uh, so it's called tomcat version 20 it was up 42 seconds ago it started listening on 8890 and it started listening inside the container it's again at 8080 and as you can see uh, elastic underscore wing is something you know, docker has randomly given the name to this container and if you look at Docker images we'll see you'll still find out version image so the idea of um, presenting this demo is hey we can start running tomcat container uh, tomcat uh, apache tomcat inside docker containers and every time we have something working in the in the in the container it can be war file which is already running in the um, docker uh, container we can start pushing those uh, containers or the working code inside the tomcat also with a with a wall file uh, that's basically the next step which we're going to do uh, we can start pushing that those images um, towards the registry and uh, with that we'll know if it works on your machine it will work every time identical and and same um, so the idea here is of uh, the immutable images having a registry and if, if there is a delta and you have changes working for your images you push it uh, to the docker registry and it will work for everyone every time in the same way uh, and the idea here is to uh, push the complexity of running something inside the container and let containers handle all those pieces so with that uh, i would like to wrap up uh, this session um, or running tomcat containers uh, tomcat uh, apache tomcat inside containers and uh, we'll be back with docker compose examples soon thank you so much guys for watching um, have a great day